Hello everyone, and welcome to an edition of This Old Boat, brought to you by Trying Not to Sink. On this episode, I'm going to show you how I repair water-damaged teak in the interior of our 1979-58 Hatteras motor yacht. One look in your eyes and I find it When you leave in my mind I rewind it When you got it this good you don't fight it Now, for those of you who watch our channel regularly, you might be asking yourself, where are all the travel videos? Well, they're still coming. We've got maybe another 20 to put out and they're gonna come out over the next few months, but we thought just for variety, we'd break it up with a couple of these repair videos. And since we are back in our home port in Philadelphia, after a long trip, there's a lot of things we need to take care of on this boat. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, there is water damage on our Arctic interior underneath these port windows. Now, we've owned this boat, I guess it's four years now, and we've never seen water in here or come in here. So I believe that the damage was caused, you know, maybe several years ago and they fixed whatever was bringing the water in. Perhaps they put new seals in, I don't know. Maybe it was just caused because they left the, the uh, port light windows open while they were underway, I don't know. But since I've never seen water here before, I'm not worried about more coming in and we're just gonna go ahead and take care of this teak. Now, the teak we have on our Hatteras is Aphromosa teak. And fortunately for us, it's not stained. To the best of my knowledge, it's just uh, oiled. And I've done a number of repairs in this boat and they just come out fantastic and it's a lot easier than you would think. Now the first thing I do is I sand the uh, damage areas with a kind of a rough sandpaper. This is 120. The idea being, if you feel it, you can sense there's, there's a little buildup as if the, the grain is raised where the water damage is. So this kind of just a once over real easy, smooths it all out. And I have to tell you, you must do this, you must sand. If you try teak oiling this without sanding first, it's not gonna work. You're gonna see the stains right through it. You know, I think I'll take this off and do it separately. It'd be a little easier if I do those on the bench. Hey, well, I have the wall sanded down with 120 grit sandpaper, and I'm going to switch over to a finer grit now. In this case, I'm using 220 uh, to smooth it out before I apply the teak oil. Okay, so the sanding is complete, and the walls are all wiped down to get rid of the sole dust. Uh, I probably should have been wearing this respirator. Don't tell anyone. I forgot. Um, and I'm ready to apply teak oil. Now, the boat was originally, I think they used something made by Dimpont. I don't even think it's available anymore. Uh, however, I've been using this Watco teak oil. Now, I've seen a lot of people go out and buy all kinds of fancy products to try to get rid of the water stains, but I can tell you what, in my experience, just using this regular teak oil and sanding it the way I did it usually comes out near perfect. We'll see. And there you go, it's that simple. Uh, nothing special, just some teak oil and a little bit of sandpaper and a little bit of sweat and uh, it looks as good as new. On the next episode of this old boat, I'm gonna show you how I repaired the fiberglass that was damaged when we were back in uh, Bahamas at Georgetown where those bolts took big chunks out of the side of my rub rail. That was fun, see you then. <laughs>